Today is the sixth day after the beginning of the vernal equinox, otherwise known as the first day of spring. You can tell it's spring because of my springy, colorful tie. And you can tell I'm in Kentucky because of the hat that I'm wearing to keep warm. It is also the anniversary of Walt Whitman's death. Walt Whitman, if you don't know, is the greatest American poet of the 19th century. And I thought that in the spirit of um, reaching out to the world, and speaking to those that I know and don't know, sharing of myself and hoping to hear from you, I thought I would read one of his inscriptions. And then I'll drop it on the floor. Anyway, this is just one of his poetic inscriptions. And it is entitled, To You. Stranger, if you passing meet me and desire to speak to me, why should you not speak to me? And why should I not speak to you? Why indeed? I'm actually an introvert. A lot of people don't know that about me. They figure I'm an extrovert. But the people who know me pretty well do know that I love my alone time and that being around people, while enjoyable, can be kind of draining. And I am one of those that I try to be polite when I walk the hallways of the hospital where I work or when I walk the streets of Lexington, I try to nod and smile, and acknowledge those that I see on the road, but really in my heart, I want to wish them well, but I would rather just not ask to talk to anybody. So, I know that sounds kind of misanthropic um, and antisocial. I really don't want to be that. What I want to be like is like Whitman, who who speaks to the reader hundreds of years, well, not really, uh, you know, 150-so years after he's written a poem. Uh, and he says to us, gosh, I'd love to talk to you. Why wouldn't I want to talk to you? Why do we have to be strangers in this world? As he figured everyone was a brother and a sister. It didn't matter what race you were. It didn't matter what gender you were. It didn't matter anything, nationality. He was interested in you, in your personhood. And I think that life is short. I think that, um, God, this is hot. Okay. Oh, my God, the hair. Um, that's embarrassing. I don't normally wear my hair like this. It's a uh, major hat head. It's kind of frightening. Anyway, uh, Yes, I'd like to be like Walt Whitman because life is short and, you know, we don't really know uh, when life will end for any of us. And, and we have to make the most of every moment and the most of every encounter with every person we meet. Thomas Merton once said that all that is is holy. And that means every person is holy. Every person Meister Eckhart said, and I posted this on my Facebook a few days ago, because it struck me so, Meister Eckhart said that every person is a word of God. Every person is a word of God. Don't know exactly what the hell that means, except that maybe that God creates with words, and each of us have God's thumbprint on us however you envision God to be and some, some just it's just another way of affirming uh, the value the value and quality of being a human being and I think everyone every human being deserves that that baseline respect so uh, I just thought that I would leave you with that thought for the day I don't really have anything more interesting to say right now because I just got home from the hospital and really need a cup of coffee. Um, and I probably need to do something about this hair. So, I will bid you a very good day. 
please go read some poetry today. Do something life-affirming. Be kind to yourself. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to go pet my dog. See ya.